Happy Friday. So today we are uh, opening up the turbo mill for inspection. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. We're uh, changing, uh, I think we're gonna change a row or two of the blades in there. So the first blades or the first row of blades tend to get uh, worn up a little faster. So uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, and show you guys what that looks like. All right. All right, so I was wrong on uh, on just the first row. So Rich is here changing these right now. So we're actually going to change all of them. Uh, but this here is what it looks like once it's worn. Uh, it still works. It's still working fine. But we don't want to keep wearing into it. So you see here, it's uh, it's got that edge. We're just going to take this plate off. We're going to grind this edge off here. Uh, and then we're going to flip the blade around and then we're going to use the back edge. Um, so the only reason we're grinding this is just to get rid of that burr because it's kind of curled over here. Uh, and then we'll go down down the the down the row. So so another thing that's important when we're um, when we're changing these is to use brand new hardware. Uh, so the last thing you want is to have a bolt that's compromised and reuse that bolt, and it's maybe stretched or worn, and uh, and then you have a chance of that bolt breaking, and then this plate falling off and just swinging in here, which would cause a lot of damage. So. Uh, very important to use brand new hardware. The cost is very minimal compared to the cost of the damage. Uh, so the blades here's a here's one that's worn on on both sides, um, and this is what it looks like when it's when it's pretty much you're completely finished here. It's a rounded off all the way around, but you see here they're adjustable. So uh, if you're running different materials, you can adjust that that uh, that blade. Uh, you now you wouldn't want to adjust this for you know on every time that you're changing materials but you get a you get a feel for the setting so for example when we first got this we had this first row here uh, I think at 50 millimeters and it was too much we lowered it down to I think we're at 30 right now um, and then we go down like that so uh, depending on each machine and depending on the application uh, we'll set it and or depending on the range of applications we'll set it uh, and then from there we're gonna go ahead and um, and just kinda keep it set it and forget it uh, on that setting um, and uh, that's worked pretty good for us. We have uh, we have three styles of uh, turbo mills. One is like this. It's an openable model, which just opens up like this. The other one has a plate in the front, and you just open the plate out. Um, and then the um, the other one is uh, is a we got some lights off in here. The other one is um, it's a new style that that uh, we're going to be uh, having here shortly, and the top opens up so it's a double clamshell so the top opens up and then it also opens up with the rotor so you can bring the whole top up and see the rotor uh, from the top side and then you can also take the whole rotor with the top and lift that up so you can have access to the whole bottom side uh, and that's not as, as necessary for changing the rotor blades but it is for uh, changing the armor plates on the bottom uh, now armor plates don't get changed as often um, I'd say on, uh, on this turbo mill, we've been running it for a few years now, and we've changed armor plates uh, just once. Uh, and I don't even think we changed all of them. So anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for uh, more videos. We'll catch you on the next one. Happy Friday.